they not here to protect and serve. And that's just being honest. My name is Sharon Felton. I'm from the city of St. Louis, Missouri. Um, what comes to mind when I think of fluorescent is the way they basically violated my rights. What would make you want to go out of your way to basically destroy somebody's life? It starts from the municipalities. What they say is what lands you in St. Louis County. And a lot of people rights be out the window, like, as soon as they sit down. But this is what happens. Where you think you just over policing today because you having a bad day, you destroying people's lives. They know what comes with the things that they are doing. You know, if you free case me, I'm gonna go to jail, I'm gonna go to prison, I'm gonna be taken away from my kids. They know, they know what happens. They know exactly what's gonna happen. So that there alone should tell you that they not here to protect and serve. And that's just being honest. They take people and they apply a lot of pressure. The actual situation happened in 2015. And I didn't know about the warrant to maybe like, what, the following year or eight or nine months. But like I said, this whole thing went on because like I said, I got locked up in July, stayed there till October. And then from there, I had to go to St. Charles. This goes on a lot. A lot of people don't know their rights. It goes for us to them taking money from people on traffic stops. You pulling me over and don't even have a reason to. Like once you do one thing, you good for everything. They feel they want to say you did. Like I'm just a living witness of it. Just because I have a, a background, I still have rights. And and they <laughs> violate them. It's to the point where you, I don't even like driving in Florissant. You won't catch me in Florissant because I know what they do. At any point, the police can change your whole life and you ain't even did nothing. To sit in jail, away from your kids, lose your house, lose your car, have to sell your furniture, all because somebody didn't like you because you was black. I said, and my roommate was white. She went to the doctor for an x-ray. You think I went to the doctor? And I had a, 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 a cyst the size of a grapefruit between my breasts. It was visual that I needed help. My lawyer told you that I needed help. He went to the judge and the judge said no. So it's just not the municipality. The whole system is racist. I still have rights and I need help. Upon arrival in municipality, jail, wherever, you do a medical intake form. What is wrong with you? What medication do you have? What do you need? Why couldn't I get what I needed? The jails be dirty, they are bad. They'll have you in the cell with four or five people. If you don't have nowhere to hold us, let us go. And see, and that's how it goes from there. So, you know, you will go to, to Florissant and then, you know, you get your charges or whatnot. And if they come, you can't make bond, you have to go to the big house. Do you know how devastating it is to go to the big house for a ticket? I've actually been in there with females that sat in jail for weeks on tickets. I ain't no way you were with people that just killed somebody. And you all you had was a ticket. Like nobody's gonna go out of their way to help you, but they'll go out of their way to prosecute you and get you to sit in there. And the only reason why they feel like they have the power to do it because they get away with it every day. And you know, back then, you know, black people really didn't have a voice. There was nothing you, you know, nobody wanted to hear what we had to say. But now we have a voice and it's like, they block the ways for us to expose what they have going on.